The idea of male focused birth control has been a hot topic for a while, but researchers have struggled because the science is complex. Now scientists at the Salk Institute say they've actually made a breakthrough. They have discovered a new target for reversible non hormonal birth control in male mice. A CBS 8 Dow Ariana Cohen tells us that could lead to a medication for men. A lot of men in the United States could be interested in male contraceptives, but options are limited. However, scientists at the Salk Institute tested with mice and they may have found a new method for male birth control. In a groundbreaking study, scientists at the Salk Institute in La Jolla announced promising results in the quest for a male birth control method. I think it's about time. The study conducted in mice has identified a new drug target that could lead to the development of a non-hormonal and reversible contraceptive for men. It's, so, it's about time to put all the burden to female in a socioeconomic point and also social, social equality or, or, or also keep control to the men. Salk professor Ronald Evans and lead researcher Su Kyung Hong focused on a specific protein essential for sperm mobility. By suppressing this protein's function, scientists observed a significant reduction in fertility without affecting hormone levels or sexual behavior. In fact, it does not impact libido at all. This our approach can uh, bypass that, so we, we are at one step closer to like male contraceptive. One can imagine the, the benefit of having this, and, and males can control their reproduction as women can control them. Salk scientists say a potential male birth control method could take the form of a pill to be taken every one to two weeks. While the path to a marketable product is still long, this study marks a significant milestone in male contraceptive research. I mean, it's amazing. And uh, it would have just, it's simple but something simple can have an impact on the planet. While the timeline is unknown, Salk scientists hope to see developments in human clinical trials soon. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.